Lesson 1. The 1% Rule If you improve one area of your life by 1% each day, then in one year you will be 38 times better than you originally were. This is because of exponential growth. Perhaps you want to become a better reader. You could start reading 10 pages a day and increase the amount you read by 1% every day. It can be a challenge to quantify what 1% is for certain things. For example, if I wanted to improve my emotional health, how would I measure a 1% improvement? Perhaps the number of times I smile throughout the day, or the number of times I control my anger? Regardless of the metric you use, let's just appreciate the concept. Fun fact, this rule is actually what inspired me to name this channel 1% Better. Lesson 2. Be an idea machine. James is well known for praising the power of ideas. Becoming an idea machine has made him money and changed his life. Good ideas buy you awesome experiences, more ideas, more time, and save your life. He treats thinking of ideas like training a muscle. To train your idea muscle, he basically says, write down 10 ideas every day on a waiter's pad. Don't worry if they're good or bad. Use idea sex. Combine two ideas to come up with a better idea. It can be difficult to come up with 10, but the key is to think of ideas until it becomes difficult, and then think of even more. After six months, you'll be an idea machine. After one year, you have 3,650 ideas. Lesson 3. 4 unorthodox things you can do to change your life in the next 10 minutes. Now I don't know if James is completely serious about these, but regardless, let's take a look. Number 1. Use $2 bills. James has thousands of $2 bills. Whenever he tips with them, people say, whoa, I've never had one of those. James says, People will remember me, and it's a quick way to make new friends. This has also been very good on dates. Nobody ever forgets a guy with a roll of $2 bills. <laughs> Number 2. Wear a doctor's coat. James wears one because it's comfortable. It has big pockets to store his electronic devices, and people actually treat him like a doctor. People move out the way for him. 3. Use waiter pads instead of an iPad, because a screen messes with your dopamine levels. A pad also has a limited number of lines, so it forces you to be concise. It's also a great conversation piece in meetings. And number four, watch stand-up comedy. Comedians are the best public speakers in the world. James watches comedy before meetings, dinners, dates, and media appearances. He's scared and somewhat introverted, but this gives James a boost of energy. Lesson four, how to convince anyone of anything in 60 seconds. Selling requires you to have many conversations and attempt to convince people of things. Here are the six U's to think about when communicating. 1. Urgency. Why is the problem you solve urgent to your target audience? How do you create a sense of urgency for your solution? Unique. Why is your product, idea, or solution unique? Useful. Why is your solution useful? Ultra-specific. Give specific details about what your solution does. User-friendly. Make it as easy as possible for someone to say yes. Give them a money back guarantee or a free giveaway. Unquestionable proof. Show statistics or testimonials to give your solution credibility. Lesson five, how to get an MBA from Eminem. Eminem is a genius at sales and competition and he demonstrates this in the movie Eight Mile. Keep in mind this movie is based in Detroit before the year 2000. In the first scene, he's having a rap battle and fails miserably. But in the final battle, he's the only white guy and the entire audience is black. He goes up against a reigning champion that the audience loves, yet amazingly, Eminem absolutely dominates the final battle. How did Eminem win so easily? Well, James analyzed the human biases that Eminem takes advantage of with his lyrical prowess. Before we go through them, I highly recommend watching the three minute rap battle. There's a link in the description below. The first set of biases that Eminem takes advantage of is the in-group and out-group bias. His first line is, Now everybody from the 313, put your mother hands up and follow me. 313 is the area code for Blue Collar Detroit, where the audience is from including Eminem, so they put their hands up. Next he points to Papa Doc and says, Now while he stands tough, notice that this man did not have his hands up. Papa Doc didn't put his hands up because he's from an upper class, privileged background, not the 313. Eminem successfully gains the support of the black audience even though he's white. 
The second is herd behavior. He says, put your hands up and follow me. Everyone puts their hands up without thinking, so they are now following Eminem. The availability cascade. The brain tends to believe things if they're repeated, whether or not they're true. Eminem repeats his first line, and he also says, look, look. Next up is the ambiguity bias. He doesn't call Papa Doc by name. Instead, he says, this man. When the brain views a person with ambiguity, it gets confused and can't make choices involving that ambiguity. Presidential candidates rarely refer to another candidate by name for this reason. Number five is the credential bias. The brain likes to take shortcuts, so it will look for people with credentials rather than people out of nowhere. You're more likely to believe the person from Harvard that told you it would rain rather than the random person that told you it would be sunny. Eminem says, one, two, three into the four, which is a famous line from Snoop Dogg's first song with Dr. Dre, ain't nothing but a G thing. He's increased his credibility by associating himself with three of the greatest rappers in history. Number six, listing objections up front. Salespeople know people will have easy objections. If you don't bring them up, they will not buy your solution. Eminem deliberately addresses all the objections Papa Doc could use against him. Eminem says, I am white. I am a bum. I do live in a trailer with my mum. By the end of the list, there's no more criticisms left to make against him. So Papa Doc, he's pretty much screwed. The seventh is the humor bias. People will remember funny things more than serious things. So Eminem sings the following line playfully, but I know something about you. And finally, the scarcity principle. When the music stops, Eminem says, F everybody. F you all if you doubt me. I don't want to win. I'm Audi. After establishing tremendous credibility with the audience, he says he doesn't want what they have to offer. This makes him a scarce resource, and his value goes up. Papa Doc can do nothing except defend himself, which wouldn't make him appear weak. Eminem walks off at the end of the movie. He's now sold over 220 million records worldwide. To summarize, we learned about the 1% rule, how to be an idea machine, four unorthodox things to change your life in the next 10 minutes, how to convince anyone of anything in 60 seconds, and how Eminem took advantage of human biases to influence people. In the next video, I'm going to share with you wisdom from the book that inspired Tim Ferriss to write the 4-hour work week.